All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of ConvertKit. So for ConvertKit, it goes by forms, all right? So every incentive or every lead magnet or content upgrade that you add, okay, you have to start or create a new form. So once you create a new form, it's going to ask you whether you want a landing page or a form for you to embed on your site. So I am just going to click on form and then there are three different styles of forms for you to choose from. So this just has an email address. This has a first name and an email address. Uh, but I'm just going to choose this one because this is the one that I always pick. So this is how the blank form looks. So you can change up all of this text. Okay, you could change up all of this text. You could change up the button. Okay, you could also add in a descriptor here. Okay, and then you can customize that. You can change the formatting. Okay, you can make it a header. Um, you could also add bullets. You can bold it. You can add an image here. Okay, but I'm going to show you this portion right now. So this is um, uh, where you would put in the image of your content upgrade or your um, opt-in. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to pick not sure if I'm gonna find something let me just find um, so I'm trying to find a mock-up okay of a book for instance okay so let me just let me just put this image in here okay so this is like so so this is how it's gonna come up okay it's gonna look really weird but don't have to fear just click on save Okay, once you do that, it's going to show up like this, okay? So after you do that, um, go into settings. So this is where you name your form. So I usually name it for the content upgrade or the opt-in freebie um, that I'm giving. So let's just say this is um, checklist. Okay, let's just call it a monetization checklist, okay? I'm going to call it monetization checklist okay so um, you we have chosen that uh, this to be a form okay so just leave this clicked and then what should happen when a visitor subscribes so this is success now check your email I usually don't do this I usually um, always okay I always redirect them to another page so this is where you need to put in your thank you page URL so for me this is yeah so i already have something here okay so this is my thank you page so i'm going to put that down and then this this portion in here sequence settings give subscribers an option to opt in to an email sequence so usually depending on um, what sequence or where you want them to go um, i usually will put in a welcome onboarding sequence so i have something in here welcome onboarding sequence so if I want subscribers to go through my welcome onboarding sequence, I will choose this. And then I make the sequence mandatory for all new subscribers. So if a subscriber is new on my list, they will automatically get the sequence. Okay. But if they are already on my list and this is just another um, content upgrade that they are signing up for, then ConvertKit will not send them um, the sequence. Okay. Because the welcome email sequence should be triggered only once for any subscriber. So if I don't want them to go on this sequence, if I want them to go on a different sequence, um, for instance, um, I have another sequence just from email list. Maybe I'm just going to choose this. Okay, a cheat sheet sequence. Okay, so this is a separate sequence for um, subscribers who are opting in to a different um, category of content upgrades and opt-ins. So then they will be taken on a different journey. So depending on what this is, you just have to choose um, what sequence you want them to go on. So once this is done, just um, save your form. So your name is going to come up in here. All right. So now go into the incentive email. Okay. So the way ConvertKit works is that every download will be sent to the subscriber via an incentive email so you could choose to have them double opt-in 
all right which means they need to click on this button here confirm your subscription so that they get your opt-in as well as confirm themselves on your list okay but if you are not a proponent of double opt-in you also have the option of auto confirming new members so if you click this whether they have clicked this or they have not clicked this they their email address and their names are going to be saved in your um, list okay so it depends on what style you're going to go with so your subject line you could change this you can say something like open up or your download is here and then you can change up your messaging you definitely don't want to have this you definitely want to customize the message and then after confirming the subscription where should they be redirected so this is where you want to put in the incentive download so which means that once they click on this they will automatically be um, the, the download will automatically start for them so this is where you want to upload your file okay so I'm just gonna pick um, uh, this file for an example okay so this is how it will upload so what that is done you just want to save it again so what happens is anyone who clicks on confirm your subscription you could even change this up okay you could also change it to say click here to get your download all right then they click on this they're going to be automatically downloaded uh, this is automatically going to start downloading so the style um so i have chosen this for a full opt-in form okay you could choose you could go in and change this as well this is what we already picked at the very beginning um, you could also have in a modal or a slide in um, I'm not going to show these but they have tutorials for these within the ConvertKit knowledge base they also give you a script for you to embed so if you're going to embed this form anywhere within your blog post or your site you just need to grab this code and then put it um, or within the HTML okay and then once you click save and you um, a preview the opt-in form will show up without any issues okay so I'm not going to do any of this um, if for instance you want to duplicate this form you can just go ahead and do that if for instance you want to keep all of this if you want to keep all of this the message or the subject line that you have already typed out okay so your your everything is the same other than your incentive download what you can do and this is what I always do I just go in and I duplicate this form and then I just go to the settings and I change up the name and I change up uh, the sequence settings and I also make sure to put in the new incentive download here so this is how you would create a form within ConvertKit.